Hey LC Small Groups, my name is Tyler Bueno and I have the privilege to tell you how to have a pure heart. So I want you to think, has there ever been something you really wanted but you've lost yourself to get it? So right after COVID in 2021, my theater company decided to bounce back after being gone for a while. And uh, we had a brand new cast of people. We had this new idea, this new concept for a story and to tell you the truth, it was not a success at all. Um, I was ready to walk away, ready to give up, but then a friend of me told, a friend of mine told me that there was a guy who was opening a theater and he wanted to come and see our show. Got really, really excited. I thought this was God leading me in the right direction, but it wasn't and everything around me started to crumble. So let's look at our verse. Matthew 5, 8. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Now that's the New Living Translation. That's from the Sermon on the Mount. You know, the big old sermon, everybody showed up, Jesus is talking. And I love, real quick, I really love the, the Chosen's interpretation of this because as a theater person, I was so excited to see they build a stage and all of this. It was really cool, but I digress. What was so cool about that sermon was in Matthew 5, he's focusing, Christ is focusing on how God blesses people, certain types of people. So verse three is those who are poor, Verse 4 is those who mourn, those who are humble, those who hunger for and thirst for justice. But the one that always gets me is those who have a pure heart. So going back to the story, we meet the guy, and everything seems cool. He wants to give us props. He's telling us he's got the keys to the theater. It's going to be the, this big thing. And I really, really, really believe that this was God setting me on the right path to make this dream a reality. But I started to lose faith of my cast because things weren't really falling into place. There was no theater. He didn't have the keys. It was just a dream of his. It was just a concept. The props he said he had ordered for us never showed up. And then when he finally had a place, it was a small storefront underneath the College Street parking garage. But I trekked on because I thought this was it. The enemy was just telling me, stop. Well. <laughs> The guy said, I really want to use your theater company as the prime focus of this theater. So he wanted me to start writing shows for him. This really took my time away from the things that were important. I didn't realize, even though I knew that my wife was going through a hard time at work, she wasn't happy. We were not together majority of the time. I was losing inspiration to write. And through all of this, not once did I ever pray or read or even actually just talk to God. And I realized that things were starting to crumble ahead of me. We were about to head for a divorce. So I had to step back and I had to stop. I quit the theater. And what did I do? <laughs> well, I was pursuing an idol. That was the first thing. So secondly, I needed to repent for that. I love it because David went through something very similar. In Psalms 51, 10 and 11, David writes to God, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. That's how I was feeling. And so I got on my knees and I just repented and I asked God to take over, take control. Soon enough after that, once I started to follow him, which is my third point, things started to change. So this whole thing that I went through ended up becoming inspiration for a show that I can't say I wrote. I believe it was the Holy Spirit that led me to write that show. And that show inspired other people. It took me in a direction that I never thought I would. I would go. And uh, I will say, I will say this, um, it's changed everything. It brought me to abundance, listening to God brought me to abundant, allowed me to focus on the things I needed to focus on, but allowed me to also pursue the things I've always wanted to pursue, just not the way I was doing them. So I want you to consider this. What false idols are you pursuing? Have they affected you, or how have they affected you and the people around you? Have you taken the blinders off? And when you do, I want you to ask God to renew you a clean heart. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a good night.